Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a number of weeks. I wanted to do an update on some latest software releases. There's some exciting things coming out here. For those of you new to the channel, this is my 2021 Model S long range version. And this is the refreshed version with uh, the yoke steering wheel and uh, the landscaped panel screen, as you can see here in the video. I'm gonna do a quick software update and walk you guys through some of these features. There's one or two that are really exciting. And um, also there's gonna be some new videos I'm gonna be doing here in the next few weeks that will that should be also exciting for you guys to see as well. But let's go ahead and dive in here and uh, let's kind of focus on what some of these software updates are. So um, the I haven't done an update for a little while, so we're gonna go down here to 2022.12 there's a couple of really good things here one is some new language support that really doesn't really help us quite a bit here in the united states but uh the other one here this one's really nice um the ability to control dog mode and camp mode via the mobile app so that's a really nice feature uh to have capable of um, for any of the those of you that have pets when you put it in dog mode this allows your dogs to stay in the car and the climate control will keep it cool enough for them um, all in the car. And on the screen, there'll be a display that will show you that it's in dog mode. And that way, if anyone's walking by the car and they look in the car and they see your dog in the car, they know that the dog is well kept there with nice climate controls in place. So that's a really nice feature to have and to be able to activate it or deactivate it via the mobile app is also really, really nice to have. The next is um, child lock controls. Now, one of the things that's really nice about this is you can actually control these um, now either on the left or the right or both. Uh, before that, it was all, it was both all the time. Now you can control left or right. This is really, really nice, especially if you have kids that are in uh, chairs that are fastened to the car and you want to turn on your lock control there. Most of us that are raising kids are going to be at different ages. Maybe one is responsible enough to have the door unlocked and the other isn't. So that's a really nice uh, feature set to have there. And then the other great feature here is some more controls on the bottom bar down here below, which I'll certainly highlight that here in a second. That's really nice. The ability to customize your controls down here that show up here. The ones on the right are your most recent um, apps that you've utilized. And the ones on the left are going to be stationary that you can click on or control at any point that you want and uh, will always be there. So we're gonna, we're gonna dive into that one here in a second. We also have um, in the latest release that just actually I got this morning is 2022.16.1.2. Uh, here we'll see we have uh, navigational energy, which is really nice to have. So uh, this will actually prep the battery um, and improve the way that the battery is working. It will also give you more accurate readings when you're on road trips. So this is going to help you forecast when there's crosswinds, headwinds coming at you, even humidity um, or even temperature changes that are going to affect how far the car will drive on a road trip. Now, I'm going to be doing a couple road trips coming up here. Uh, shortly, I'll certainly record those for you guys, but this feature is going to come in really, really handy. One of my road trips is probably going to be to Las Vegas, where I'm here in California, Northern California right now, and the temperature here today was about 90 degrees, but I'll tell you, in Las Vegas, it's about 108 degrees, um, sometimes 110 degrees, so that heat, I know, is really going to affect the battery. If any of you know how much the heat is going to affect the battery, uh, please uh, leave a message or comment down below. That would be really helpful for me uh, before I make that road trip. So that's something that I want to be very cognizant of. The other feature I really like, uh, my wife uses this car from time to time um, quite a bit lately um, as she, uh, she kind of got in a small accident in her Model X. I may do a video on that because it's... Uh, pretty interesting the accident she got in but anyways she's been using this car a lot more lately and um, when she drives the car a lot of times 
she'll listen to her certain stations or streaming stations or um, all types of things like that on the music. I like to listen to my own kind of music and everything. So what's really cool about this is that it will save it to your profile. So if I use my phone to enter the car, it's going to save all of my music uh, profiles directly with my profile in the car. Same with her. So that's a really, really nice feature. That's one I'm definitely going to use every time I get in the car. So as I mentioned before, any kind of software update that Tesla does, some of them greatly affect you and it feels like Christmas. Others you may not care too much about. So in this case, uh, this driver profiles one is really good and that navigation energy uh, prediction is also gonna be very good, especially on road trips when you're driving along. And I also do like the child lock uh, capability as well, which is also really nice. So if any of you guys have questions on these features, let me know. But let's go ahead and play around with the bottom nav bar. Down here, you have these different items. If, it, if you ever wonder what other items you can add here, you can always click this middle button. You can see some of the other items, the arcades where all the video games are, theaters where you can watch Netflix when your car is parked. So all types of things here. Here's a little trick. If uh, you can click out of that by clicking X, clicking on it, opens it up. Now, if you click on it and hold it, you get a few more options here if you hold that button down. So your front defrost, rear defrost, left uh, to right seats if you want to control anything, or heating your yoke. Well, it's summertime right now, but in the winter, I really like heating the yoke. So you can just grab that icon, bring it down here, and now it's going to be stationary down there all the time. So as you can see here, anytime I want to heat that yoke, I can just hit that button real easily, and it's going to do that. Um, I don't usually use sentry mode down here, so... You can also, um, when you when you hold the icon down, you're gonna get X and I can X that out and not have that available. And then I can also bring one down here if I want to um, have my left seat or right seat control. So this allows me to control uh, what I wanna do with my seat. So let's go ahead and turn that off. Now when I control this heat or cool, I can cool or heat my seat by just clicking that button, which is kind of nice to have. And uh, on, the, on the other side, you can see it's over there as well, which is really, really nice to have. So some really simple controls down there in the bottom nav and some really easy software updates I just wanted to report on. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please leave them down below. I do read my comments and I respond back a lot of times. So anything you guys have, please do that. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for your time today, and I look forward to uh, getting you guys some more videos out very quickly. I'm going to get back to my routine where I have at least a video a week, uh, but if you guys have any questions, please leave them below, and thanks again for your time.